when your room is switched off, it will look a little something like this. You will have been left with a wireless keyboard, a black remote and one or two white remotes for the projectors. The first step in turning on your immersive room is to locate the white remote or remotes. Always remember the projectors need to be turned on first before the PC. Turn on all the projectors in the room. In this case the floor projector has a different remote to the wall projectors. It may take a while for the projectors to come on, please be patient they need time to warm up. Once the projectors begin to turn on, it may look like the projectors are out of alignment. This is only due to the fact the PC has not yet been turned on. This is normal. Somewhere in the room will be a cabinet that houses the PC. This may be mounted up high, outside the room or on the floor dependent on the installation requirements. Inside the cabinet will be the PC. Press the on button and a light will appear to indicate the PC is on. Once the PC starts to load, you will see the Windows desktop appear. The Imaginate Suite software will automatically load. This may take a few minutes. Once the software has loaded, it will run through a license verification process. Your room needs to be connected to the internet for this license verification to be successful. If your room isn't connected to the internet please connect the room via the pop-up wizard. If the option to connect to the internet doesn't appear, please get in touch. Once the software has validated, it will start to play the Imaginate Suite included activities. It will continue to do this until you press the home button on the black remote. The main menu has three top sections. Play, Settings, and Support. Within the Play section there is Shuffle. This will play all the available activities available within the Imaginate Suite. Using the black remote you can skip to the next activity. By Profile. This enables you to select a profile that you have created within the Creative Suite or to choose one of the default profiles provided. Creating your own profiles allows you to select only the activities you would like to play, in the order you would like to play them, and for the required time. Browse Library Select an individual activity to play or select a whole activity type. This will only play the selected activity until you press the home button on the remote. Help. In this section you can learn about the different activity types and what element of customization you can achieve in the creative suite. YouTube. We have pre-selected some educational YouTube clips, these are non-interactive videos designed to help with educational topics. These have been vetted and checked for inappropriate content. Please note connection to the internet is required for this feature. Events. We are regularly updating the software to feature event and awareness day relevant content. When an event or awareness day is running, you will be able to access a new quiz, word search and sometimes other relevant activities around that event. Please note connection to the internet is required for this feature. Network. The network section allows you to search for available internet connections. Select the connection you require and enter the password with the black remote or the keyboard. There are three options to close the software. Close. Use this option to exit the software and access the Windows desktop. Restart. To restart the PC and software. Shut down. This will shut down the software and the PC, leaving you to turn the projectors off with the white remotes. Support. This page gives you details of your system, when it last updated and the PC name. The details of who to contact should you require support are located at the bottom of the screen. To shut down your immersive room, go to settings on the main menu and choose shut down. This will count down from 5 to 1 and then close the software and PC. Alternatively you can hold down the red button on the black remote. Locate the white remotes and turn off the projectors. Your immersive room is now turned off.
Provided with your immersive room is access to the creative suite. You will be asked to register for this when the room first starts up. Alternatively, you will have been left with a username and password. If you are unable to locate these, please get in touch and we can resend these over. See our creative suite how to guide for details on how to create your own content, import your own media and create your own profiles. Your immersive room may have additional hardware such as lighting, wind, aroma, or other sensory hardware. This hardware is controlled within the creative suite and this will be covered in that how to guide video. Thank you for watching and we hope you enjoy using the immersive room.